just going to fix this for us. That's just folks, if you don't mind, and stop talking to see me for five minutes. So this here is something slightly different than I've been used to for the past couple of weeks now. We've been in America traveling, I don't even know how far, I lost count of how many miles we traveled in America, but uh, over the next couple of months there's going to be some interesting content coming out. We're here with John Wilson Agri Contracts again, with their new nurse tank, young Scott, is on the white lady, boiler is over yonder somewhere. So I'm going to jump in with Scott for a bit of a chat about how life's been since we've been away and get back to the basics of the good old slurry barn in Ireland. Delighted. What's the story today, Scott? I was just pumping slurry here at the moment. Pumping slurry for Joe Patton. Uh, well, we're doing outside of Strokeham here at the moment. I'm trying to get everything done before the 15th. It's quite a lot to do before the 15th. Ah, it's about a week. Aye, week tomorrow, uh, man. Aye, week tomorrow. We're trying to get everything done so we're not panicking before the ban. Yes. To get it all done, but it's hard today when farmers are just wanting to push it back and back. Is that him down there spreading away with the beacons on? Aye, that'll be him with the beacons on. I can't even talk, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk. Well, how long are you a boiler now? Oh, I've been here, I would say, a good seven months anyway. So I have. I've been my boiler before silage. Came to him near at the end of the slurry there before silage. So that. You know, Where did you come from? What were you doing before that? Oh, I was out in England before that. I was out in cabbage harvest in Arbol during the summer and then came went to cabbage harvest then afterwards and came home and kind of freelanced a wee bit. And then I found out boiler was needing a man and then that's whenever I went to boiler then. Yes. I've been here ever since. Well, have you sort of took over from Liam and Sean a wee bit then? Well, they would come out the odd day. So they will, they, they'll help out as much as they can. Uh, they're that busy with their own stuff doing the shades and stuff, you know, but when it comes to it, if we need somebody to go onto the pipe or yes. if we need someone to roll grass, no, they would come and help out as much as they can now, to be fair to them. Well then, how did you claim this tractor? Because you were telling me about you were for the, you were conquering the world, or how did, how did you manage to claim her and you're only here nine months? Oh, well, I used to drive one of the green ones and then she didn't have a front PTO or nothing on her and I thought that's why it's more beneficial. Uh, I can try to pump and like, sat in the nurse tank or I have a joystick and all, I can go par har and like, see fairy slurry no baller with the big tankers and she'd carts her ass no baller. Yes. To be fair, she'd be more beneficial anyway when you're full time because it means you don't need to hop about in different tractors to do everything, you know. Well, do you find yourself you have to hop about a brave bit, or is it one man to a tractor, or like no. what, what is the staff situation? Like, is it the same boys all the time, or is it a mix of boys? Or? Oh, well, no, it would normally be roughly the same people, to be fair. Like, there, I'm full time, and your boy Patsy, he's full time, and there's a chap adding with us today, he was full time, and uh, he's not full time no more, but he comes and gives us a hand for a slurry, and when it came to grass and all, it was always the same drivers, really. They always came back whenever we needed an extra trailer, so they always came. Yes. So they did. But um, no, you would really be much to your own tractor. Like, I, no one would really drive this. It would just be me and this, and Patsy's his own tractor, and you can do what you want with them. Like, there, I've put full tents in this tractor, and hey, my fridge and all set up, you know. I have to mind the next Sunday I come to grass, I'll have to take a sister. Okay, that would be the way over. I'd be a fan of taking your tractor, all right? Okay, well, you always <laughs> used to take it before when you were coming. <laughs> but no, no, you hate your own wee tractor, to be fair. It's handy that way. There's nothing worse than you're hopping about in different tractors and, and you have everything set right for yourself. You feel more comfortable. Yeah. So, no, it's, it's good that way, to be fair now. Well, you're a wee bit of a celebrity today. How so? Is this not your second promotional video of the day? Aye, that would be it. <laughs> aye, aye, we day hits out there about the air compressors, they were out there just before you came and I was talking to the chap about the pros and cons and 
to be fair to them, you can't give a con to them. No. No, they're some job now. They're handier, you hear hooked onto the front of the tractor. I with that big nurse tank on today, it can be tricky getting into some places. But you get the use of the size of it. But what can go wrong with a compressor? Like, surely sure it's just an engine that blows air. Aye, that's, that's the thing, really. The only thing that can go baller if you'd any service and keep them up to date. Uh, you might hear a bit of baller them starting, or if you hear them setting outside the, their whole life, there's no emergency stop button on the side of them. And if they're set outside, that can corrode inside. And then you think the emergency stop button's out, but it's actually not, it's just all popped in. Yep. Uh, but that's the only thing really, like, we haven't had a baller where during the winter period before February again we're going to make sure the hay at service and all the new filters and all put on to it. But like what gearbox is necessary compared to the rest? It's pretty much class same as a T-bar. As I assume it's a Massey. You would class them as pretty much like a T-bar as a Massey. You have six splitters in the one gear. The gearboxes are really good in these to be yeah. fair to them. I haven't had a baller with them. Even the comfort of these classes. They are a comfort tractor. Ah, they are they a comfort tractor, they are a hell of a comfort tractor. That, you know. that tractor is on the pipe, she's a Seamus. So she has. They would be a bit different. They, they still work the same way, but that's got more of a bigger gear stack on it. Right, okay. Like that's more like you rat, it wraps around your hand. Oh, it's like a you know. mushroom, like they have in the harvester. Aye, yeah, aye. Okay. That's pretty much what is in the Seamus, but they're all roughly still the same. We haven't got a Vario class. They're all roughly the same gearboxes in these tractors, but. You couldn't really complain with them. Are they all a power shaft of some sort? I know they're all a power right, shaft yeah. of some sort. But I find even that we, I don't know what you'd call it, that we stick or whatever you call it, so while having the pace for your thumb. See, I, where you where that's possession when you're driving down the road, you can even just keep your thumb there. Uh, and you're flicking forward and you downshift, you're just flicking back. Uh, a lot of people don't really have a good thing about classes, but I couldn't say a bad thing about them. I should do like the class. No, they so do I. Like, we had a, that demo case out and see more they're more room you have in a class and you've more pockets you've more stories availability you know compared to the cases anyway yes the case is a good tractor but she would nowhere be as near as comfy as what these about, classes what about driver friendliness like the location of your buttons and all you were telling me the other night of like your daft float your four-wheel drive your preset revs all on the side Aye, of the case. that was the only good thing about a case everything was so close to you they, you had your diff lock and you had two different set of revs, engine revs and all, you can say it are different. And she was nice the way she was set up now, everything was that close to you around. Well, if Ryan turns around to you tomorrow and says, look, I like that case, it was like I'm thinking of changing, would you rather your class or your case? Uh, when you put it like that, no, I'd probably tell him to go for the case. Just for the sheer fact that it was always been in the case or any home man. Right, okay, okay. That's always what I ever drew. So you're going off nostalgia then? Oh, yeah, I'm more going off that than anything really. Well, tell me about, about that nurse tank then. She's been in the scene since I was last out there earlier in the year. She's been here, oh, I would say she's been here three months now. So she would be some job. Aye. Some job. Compared to your Coming, Red Rock? Aye. That there Red Rock, that wee trailer we had, it was handier getting into places. You really fit the jackknife through the wee trailer. But with a Compares to how much slurry you can hold in that air slurry cat, it's unbelievable. What does she hold? She would hold roughly around 11,000 gallons. She would hold three and a bit of them big tankers. Yes. And that wee trailer we have, they held it maybe a tanker. That's that? That's it. You were this year, see, once you hear set up, you don't need to worry. Mm -hmm. they, I like her. When it comes to the job that we're doing, and the amount of slurry at house, no, I do like her. She's good when it comes to them tubes, them side tubes. They're on the front and back in that nurse tank. Really? So it means then, for the front, I can see what's on her, and then from the back, the boys in the tankers, when they're booming in, they can tell as well. Mm -hmm. So we're not constantly asking each other what's on it. But no, they're good, but the only thing, this is one, she doesn't have a movable drawbar or a steering axle or nothing in her, she's yes. just a box shape. You know, she's just standard, but no, she's right and sturdy, old thing. See, even on the road there, and you're on a bumpy old road, mm. no, she would be right and sturdy. And it's good there, the fact that too, when you're coming to the end, of, if there's barely any slurry, or you're at the end of the fill, when you lift her up, she pushes all the slurry to the front of the pump, and see what empty that nurse tank out completely. 
So you can climb up the ladder after we're finished and there'll not be a much slurry left on it. What would you like to get out of light of this without the stair drawbar? Can you handle that not too bad, but that's a brave gateway too. I, there's been a couple of places I've been in so far. They have been tight now. There's, there's a place that you wouldn't have been able to put your finger in between the post and the nurse tank, but I was trying to get used to hang her on the back with your air compressor on the front because yes. you can't really get that good shunter yes. and that good clearance to kind of pull her around as you can if you didn't have the air compressor on but once you get really used to the size of it you're, you're dead on really you're kind of set for it like I'm more really used to her now but at the start I uh, was tricky at the start Well would you say that you put your best driver on to do the pump to get them things in and out of places, or do you put your worst driver on to do the pump because uh, they don't have to do anything? Oh, well, you put your best driver on it now. <laughs> Come on now, Connor. What's the story with this case then? That's not boilers. That's uh, one of Daniel Ramos' drivers. Yes. They would come and if we need for a far away car, they would come and give us a hand. We need to be like likes of so. If they need a hand, they need another silage trailer or a tanker. We would give them a hand. Vice versa, really. Mm -hmm. Like we're helping them and they help us. So that um, like we can pull them out of holes and then they'll pull us out of holes. So no, it's good that way. That you're kinda close with all our contractors in, so you're never stuck really. Yes. Because as this year anyway I find it as hard to get drivers. Contacting? Aye, it's as hard. a whole or just here? It's just as a whole really. I've seen even I've heard from a couple of other contractors that they were struggling to get drivers to you all summer. No one's really interested really anymore. Well, it used to be that you couldn't get bad drivers, never mind good drivers, but see, Boiler's got you now, so it has got bad drivers. Never you mean he's got good drivers now? Is that what That's what you're trying to say there, Connor, you know. <laughs> well, what's so, your uh, thoughts on the season? Like, you've been driving tractors for a brave while now. You know, you've seen a couple of different seasons through various contractors. Uh, what way has the season sort of panned out for you boys as a whole? Because when I was talking to Boiler earlier in the season, he was quite content with the way the whole thing was going. I, it just got new trailers and... With the new equipment coming, I been around the tractor kind of successful for seven odd years and I would say the season we've had so far I'd say it'd be right and good now that rain at the end there around September time there that was shocking there uh, that was hard to get anything done that came to the, the fact that you were sat and waiting and then once I got dry then again you were kind of pushing yourself and all the farmers were wanting it at the same time mm -hmm. we got it right up though but no, I didn't we didn't I'd say that we had a good good season there at grass we never really had much issues. You'll be happy enough to drive beside me next year then. Boiler says I can drive his 970 because of my stunt in America. Aye, that, that'd be the way of it. Aye. Oh, well, as long as you don't move your spout and you're nice <laughs> and steady at a speed, I'd be happy enough to sit beside you. Ock. Oh. I'll say you'd be alright. <laughs> we'll see next summer. You have more faith than I do. Aye. No, well, since I can't wait to see you in a harvest. <laughs> so, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see what the story is with it. Right, I may love you and leave you because this video has to go out on Wednesday and it's 20 past 2 on a Monday. Oh, aye. I'm sure so you've got a lot of work to do ahead of yourself. Plan for Germany on Wednesday morning. So, uh, so, so I think I, we're, me and you are going to swap jobs. I'm a good photographer, you say. Really? Okay. I can get you a job. Watch this face, folks. Watch. <laughs> right, I'm away. Chat right, you later. Connor, all the best. <laughs>